Well, good morning, everyone. It's a real joy for me to welcome you once again and pray the Lord will bless you wherever you are today. I was brought up in the seaside area of Llanelli, which was one of the oldest districts of the town. Looking around Llanelli was a book that Harry Davis uh, wrote, I think it was in the 1980s, where he looks around all the different areas of Llanelli and particularly at seaside because of its industrial heritage and the past, which was so interesting, and the characters that were there. Uh, he speaks particularly of a rank of houses called <coughs> Custom House Bank. Now these were located just at the entrance to the North Dock. It was a rank of houses, lime painted houses, uh, two ranks opposite each other. And of course, it was a community, a real community. Life was hard, works were demanding on the men of the bank. The women of the bank worked hard. On wash day, you could see in one of the pictures the washing from one side of the, of the street to the other and the washing blowing in the wind. Harry tells us that on, if there was a baby expected in the bank, the women would come together to make sure that all would go well. And if there was a funeral, well, neighbours would come together, they would help to repaint the inside of the house, they would provide crockery, they would lend furniture, they would sweep the house through in order that on that particular day, a day of respect and regard for the deceased. It was a community, and that was important. I can't help thinking that in the days in which we're living, where there's so much political unrest, where we look around the world and see such terrible events happening, we need again this sense of community. The winter that lies before us is not going to be easy. Many people are very much afraid in terms of increased mortgage rates. Will they be able to feed their families? I know politicians are, are doing of their best, hopefully, to alleviate that, the terrible consequences of the winter that might come. But I think that we too have a responsibility as those in communities here in Trinetli and wherever we may live. We know that in the coming months the increased demand on the food banks of the town are going to be very profound. The churches, like ours at Greenfield, have opened their doors to the homeless and to those who are sleeping rough and to those vulnerable families in our community, they are doing their best in order to help and support those who are in need. They, they need our support. And more than anything, we need to, as churches, to remember in these days that, that we are called to proclaim this gospel of grace, the wondrous grace of God in Christ, but remember the example of Jesus. Remember that he cared for those who were in need. He fed the hungry. He taught us to go that extra mile and to bear each other's burdens. One of the stories, of course, that illustrate that is the story of the Good Samaritan. We remember that this man was left at the side of the road for dead. A priest and a Levite passed by, but a dreaded Samaritan picked him up and bound his wounds and cared for him, took him to a place of shelter and helped him. Dear friends, this winter, there may be elderly people in your street and mine who are living alone. Let's keep an eye on them. There may be single mums and dads who are having a difficult time in our communities and, and perhaps just a word of encouragement just to give them the assurance that we are there. All of us are affected by the financial restraints of the, of the coming months. All of us, none of us are exempt. But surely this sense of community Harry spoke about in the seaside of that day is something that, as an example, that we should follow in our day. Life has become much more impersonal. People tell me sometimes they don't know the people living next door to each other. Perhaps we need to revive that sense of community, that sense of neighbourliness, that sense of caring, of compassion, because that's what Jesus calls us to do as his church and as his people. And people of all faiths and none need to follow this way because it is the way that God has ordained for us. Let us love the Lord our God with all our heart and with all our soul and with all our mind. And let's love our neighbour as we love ourselves. That's what he calls us to do. If I can help somebody as I pass along, then my living will not be in vain. May God bless you. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your day. Let's just have a short prayer to conclude. Our Heavenly Father, give us a heart of compassion for those who are in need. May we be good neighbours as Jesus calls us to be and grant that we might know the peace and assurance of your presence as we seek to do your will. We thank you today, Lord, that we are those you love and in Christ you have given yourself for us. 
We thank you for him who fed the hungry and cheered the sad. We thank you for him who died upon the cross for our sins and rose again on the third day. It is his example we follow, Lord, and we thank you for that today. So, Lord, be with us for the rest of this day. Bless us and those we love, we pray. In and through the precious name of Jesus, our Saviour. Amen. Thank you, dear friends. May the Lord bless you and keep you now and always.